say a little bit about some of the issues you've been discussing before I came and the perspective that I share about these issues, or that I have, sorry, on, on these issues. Um, and then, yeah, we, you know, maybe you might have some questions or comments about what I've got to say. So just to introduce myself, so I'm Esther Stafford Kosei, and um, I am a recreationist, which is basically a recreation scholar, <coughs> activist, and campaigner. Um, that's really what I would say I was born to do. That's what my vocation is. So all the work I do has a recreations lens, no matter what it is. If it's to do with climate justice, if it's to do with women's rights, or you know, black community issues, land, everything is about reparations for me, okay? Um, and I'm involved in lots and lots of organizations around reparations. I've been active in reparations movements for about 23 years. And I am internationally known, and I organize internationally, not just within the UK. So within the UK, within the rest of Europe, um, Africa, the Caribbean, and North America in particular. So in the last 23 years, I've been part of every kind of leading reparations initiative that has emerged out of the UK. Um, and have, yeah, have been involved with many of the organisations. But my primary organisation is called PARCO, the Pan-African Reparations Coalition in Europe. Um, and I guess the, main, the next main one is something called the Stop the Mangamizi Recharge Genocide Ecocide Campaign, which I think is quite relevant to the topics around climate justice. Uh, the Stop the Mangamizi Recharge Genocide Ecocide Campaign was formed in 2015, but it really was an outgrowth of a lot of activism that was happening before, especially in the 1990s, around reparations. Um, so some of you will be remember the late Bernie Grant MP. He was involved with reparations organising, and he co-founded an organisation called African Reparations Movement in 1993. Um, and so my work, he died in 2000, and that's really when I became active. So picking up that work from ARM, which began to sort of cease operating around 1998, when Bernie Grant got ill. Um, I think what's interesting about the UK scene is that even though many of us are, you know, our parents might have come from the Caribbean, or grandparents, depending on your 